but then Paimon won't be able to eat them. You could always live on dragon spine. No, no, too cold for Paimon. Or you can give the fruit to me, and I would take it to dragon spine for you. But since you don't like the cold, you'd have to send someone else to pick them up when you want them. This is where you come in, traveler. Suddenly sounds a lot more feasible with other people doing all the work. Hmm. Okay then, shall we go with that idea? Fruit buried on Dragon Spine will stay fresh for much longer. However, it is also possible that the fruit will sprout and grow into fruit trees. Who knows? Maybe the next time you visit, it will have grown into an orchard. You can water the trees, add fertilizer, and when they finally bear fruit, you will have some fresh sunsetias. I don't think being a gardener is so bad. Albedo! Stop trying to get your hands on Paimon's super sweet Cinderias! Hmm? <laughs> it bothers you, does it? Of course it bothers Paimon! They are the rarest, super duper sweetest Cinderias ever! And they're not for you! Okay. But, they're just Sensetias. I think you were only so attached to them, because you don't have much fruit of this quality in your possession. When someone's pockets are full, and their spirit is fulfilled, they don't easily fall prey to this kind of yearning. Dragon Spine is too cold for ordinary fruit trees to survive. But if one day Dragon Spine did become home to gardens and orchards, there would be more reasons for people to visit. Perhaps a little life is the key to attracting people. Life may exist in all kinds of unfathomable forms and in all manner of unthinkable environments. Mysterious, yet tenacious. Perhaps this is what makes life so special.
I'm sorry. Remember? 